and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. Hello, Mayor. You have something to tell me? Ah, the egg hunt is in three days. Okay, it'll be nice to attend with Lizette. Yeah, I'll be there. It is day 12 of spring and Lynn and Ludus's birthday today. Good morning, darling. The egg hunt is almost here. If I'm going to take part, then I might as well do my darn best and find as many eggs as I can. Yeah. We'll find as many eggs as we can together. Good morning, Snowdrop. Magnolia. Another rainy day. So, um, the cats are going to stay indoors. Let's sell a whole lot of things. The fish bait we'll save because those can actually be useful. And let's go see the earth sprites. Alright, always nice to get some grass because, well, we do end up using it for twine quite a bit. Let's see. Oops. And all the rest of these we do want to keep. The grasses go in here and the logs in here and then the gold ore in here. Let's go and take a look in our spring garden. See what's going on over here and what needs doing. A lot to harvest. Some turnips. Garlic. Onions. And cucumbers. Hmm. I guess we'll sow the garlic, strawberry and radish seeds and we'll leave some cucumbers and garlic here to wait for their turn to be made into seeds and we'll make some turnip and onion seeds right so the uh, garlic goes over here strawberries over here and 
radishes over here. And that's it for the spring garden for today. We'll put the special crops into the chest and see about what to do with the others. Do we want to keep them or sell them? Depends on the situation in here. I guess we could keep these. Yeah. Our shipping bin is going to be pretty full anyway with the rewards from Lovett. Let's put these away and look after our animals. It's another rainy day. So we'll have to leave them some fodder once we have cleared this yard. Hello Daisy. Acacia. You are dirty today. Have you snuck outside into the rain while I wasn't looking and taken a mud bath or something? Anyway, thank you all so much for the fur and wool. Here's some food. Hello, hibiscus. Sonnet. No milk today, huh? Columbine. Mimosa. Geranium. Saffron. Coco and ginger. Yeah, there are eight of you, so I have been giving you the right amount of food. Well, weird that Sonnet didn't have any milk today. Let's cut this grass and go see about our chickens. Nettle, hello. Chamomile. Poppy. Limerick. Apricot. And Ruby, thank you all so much for the eggs. Here's some food. And let's go process everything. And how are our flowers? 
we have some pansies to harvest and also a lot of honey and tulips so let's make some seeds The tulip seeds will be ready in a couple of days. And let's gather up all of this honey. Hmm. We'll see which kind of flower we want to use for honey hive making next. We'll take a look at what we have like especially many of I guess it's going to be the blue nemophila yeah we need eight now about the makers what do we need for a honey maker and where do we have it the recipe for it I mean jam maker we need to make some of these too Supple lumber and gold ingots and sap. And the honey maker. Supple lumber. Moondrop. Blue cat. Oh, pink cat. <laughs> Blue and red magic flowers. Right. Let's put that grass away. And the fulgurite we'll store in here, just in case we need it. I don't think we'll need the bench, we'll just sell it. And let's see about those wildflowers we need. Pink cat. We'll make two more honey makers. And moondrop. Blue magic flower and red magic flower. And that's that. Now we just need supple lumber, gold ingots and sap. And we'll be able to make the uh, honey makers and the jam makers. Oops. Let's put these back in here. And two of these. And let's make like, I don't know, four of these. We do get quite a few kinds of fruit so yeah or and uh, of 
course, we need to put all of these things back. And let's also remember to put the clay in here. Right. We'll see if we can put the jam makers over here. of course go over here okay maybe they won't one more honey maker there um i guess we'll just sell this one yeah we'll have to just sell that one honey maker We'll put the logs and sap in here, the clay in here. And let's go sell that honey maker. Also, I think I want to go to the general store and buy some more fodder. And maybe like some of those universally liked gifts, so that I'll have gifts to give to Jason. Because so far, I know he loves those ancient maps, but they are super hard to come by. And then he really likes the hibiscus, but we don't have very many of those. So... We'll get, like, I don't know, some order. And then for Jason, maybe some shiny watches. See if he likes these. Oh yeah, it's uh, Lynn's birthday. Um, let's go see Jason. Oh, and... No event. Okay. So, from time to time, I will pop into the bistro. Because I think there's supposed to be, like, um, an event there. But I'm not exactly sure of the conditions of triggering it. Hello, Jason. Nice. Sally. I am ready for the egg hunt. Yeah. It'll be nice to to um, team up with Lizette. While we're here, may as well go and see about today's request. Ah, Mayor. Hello? 
Yeah, I do look forward to the egg hunt. It's another new thing for me to do with Lizette. Let's go see Lynn. Oh. Oh, fancy bumping into you here. I was just about to go into the forest to look for wildflowers. Interested in joining me? Let's go. Did I ever tell you, back in the day, I regularly took walks through these woods to search for medicinal herbs? There are so many newfangled medicines now though, that herbal remedies have become a thing of the past. But when we were clearing this land out, there was no ferry, so we had to be self-sufficient. Oh ho, look at this! It's a mugwort leaf. It's good for cuts and bug bites. You squeeze the juice out of it and sprinkle it over the injury. You can also use the leaves in your bath. The aroma promotes relaxation and reduces ex exhaustion. This over here is ginger. It's a common spice in cooking. It aids in the digestive process, but most of all, it's good for increasing body temperature and circulation. Oh ho! And this little beauty is a trifolium repens, also known as a white clover. It's used for... Hmm... You gather them and weave them into a necklace. If you give it to your sweetheart, they're guaranteed to love you back. That's no superstition now you hear. It really worked for me and my wife. Let's see here. It's been so long since I've made one. Phew, it's done. Not half bad. You want to know what I'll do with it? Heh, <laughs> absolutely nothing, that's what. The missus would never forgive me if I accidentally gave it to someone and they fell in love with me. Now, what do you say we head back? Aw, that was sweet. Thanks for coming along, I had a good time. Welcome back, Grandpa. Where did you go? Oh, nowhere really. Just to the forest. Wow, you made a necklace. May I have it? Sorry, dear. No can do. It's too precious to give away. Aww, you're mean, Grandpa. Well, that was pretty uncalled for from Lynn, calling him mean. <laughs> you have a whole new life ahead of you now. Congratulations. Thank you. And, um, happy birthday. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see Ludus. It's his birthday too. We'll get him a banana from the fridge while we pass by our house. Hello Lizette, have you had a nice day? I'm going to pop by to see Ludus. I'll tell him happy birthday from you too.
Hello, Lulus. Happy birthday from both me and Lisette. Tigra. Alright, let's go back home and prepare to do some cooking for a lovet. This time we'll take the honey with us, just in case. We'll put the fodder and watches in here and we'll take the honey hmm should we also take the royal jelly just in case head over here and do a whole lot of cooking. What was it he wanted? Small fish marinade and cold soup. I'm just going to look at a couple of these at a time just so it's easier to remember. Small fish marinade. Ah. We don't actually have any small fish. I guess all the fish we have are medium or large. Cold soup. This is cold. sure that'll do. Let's turn it in. And Neapolitan pasta and a sweet entree. Let's go see what we can do about those. Neapolitan pasta. Do I even have that recipe? I don't see it. Did I accidentally scroll past it? I guess I don't have it. Is it a soup? A salad? No. So, I really don't have it, huh? I guess not. Well... He did want a sweet entree. I guess I'm just gonna have to... Go to the, um, the bistro and the hotel cafe. 
and um, see if either of those has the Neapolitan pasta on their menu. This said it was uh, sweet, among other things. Yep, it qualifies. What's next? A white mellow entree and a warm dessert. And okra curry and chai. A white mellow entree. Are there any which we have the ingredients for? I know we have those special crops in the chest at home, but um, they don't really help us there now. Does this do count as white? And what about the pasta dishes? They are pretty white too like the cream sauce pasta over here. They do also have some green though. The mushroom pie is quite white too. Hmm. Let's see if um if there's something that is like unquestionably white that we can make. I guess they all kind of have other colors as well. Hmm. The okra curry was on the list too, so let's make that. Oh yeah, warm dessert. This one qualifies, it is a dessert and warm. And then there was the chai. As for the white mellow entree, I think I'm going to quickly run home and get a giant leek and then we'll make the uh, whatever the was it the hot pot in any case it was um quite white so i'm hoping it'll qualify mellow entree we'll go and grab the giant leek the neapolitan pasta we'll have to see if we can learn it at the hotel cafe or the bistro and then the small fish marinade well we're going to have to catch a couple of small fish maybe I guess we do have some different kinds of fish bait, so we'll use the small fish bait tomorrow to catch a couple of small fish. As 
as for tonight, we'll just make that hot pot and then that'll be that for us for today it's getting a bit late so yeah tomorrow we'll go and see what's on the menu at the bistro and the hotel cafe hopefully there's neapolitan pasta in in um, one of those places and then we'll also try and catch a couple of small fish this ought to qualify for the white mellow entree yep Just a couple of things left for tomorrow. And this is only difficulty 3 out of 5. So I guess there are a couple more lists after that one. 4 out of 5 and 5 out of 5. So yeah, there's something for us to challenge ourselves with for us to do for now though let's wish our cats good night and head to bed thank you so much for spending time with me here on the mellow it was lovely to have you if you'd like to show some support please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment I'd really appreciate that and if you're not already subscribed then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos remember to be kind to yourself have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.